Hello and welcome to Sharing Economy TV. My name is Imran Azam and this is brought to you in association with the people who share.com. So you probably recognize this front door behind me. That is number 10 Downing Street. It is the Prime Minister of the UK's official residence. And we were here, and I say we, myself, and a number of other founders of Sharing Economy Ventures were invited here today to address the government directly about the sharing economy and the obstacles that we potentially face, that we do face, in order to make it a reality, i.e. barriers to our progress. Now, it's interesting that we were invited here today, and it's actually more interesting as to who was here to receive us. We were addressed directly by George Osborne, who is the Chancellor of the Exchequer here, is the number two in government, a very high level individual indeed. And it was interesting to hear him speak of the sharing economy. Uh, it seems to be well informed, at least well briefed, and mention a number of ventures uh, as well. He was also candid enough to say that normally these, this level of meeting is reserved for bigger business. Uh, but in actual fact, they were forced into action because they can see the disruptive effect that we are having on the incumbents and that insurgents, that's their words, not mine, insurgents such as ourselves, um, should really be invited to the table and we, they should take our view seriously. So what exactly happened today? Well, we were split up into five tables depending upon the sector that they were in. So me as part of Share My Storage was in the space and accommodation sector. There was platform enabling businesses, uh, sharing enabling platforms, I should say. Uh, there was obviously the transportation uh, area as well, as, long, as well as tasks as well. I know there's four, there was five, but ah, uh, a general renting of items as well. So we had about 10 people, eight, eight to 10 people per table. We had a government minister who was there to take notes and we had a real brainstorm uh, about all our concerns, all our experiences um, and what the government can do to help establish the sharing economy and remove those barriers. Uh, we noted those down, uh, we first went through the problems, then the solutions and then the top three issues that we would like the rest of uh, the rest of the group to hear about. So of the top three recommendations that came through, one of the highest that came across almost all of the tables was the fact that uh, the government needs to clarify at a national and a local level uh, what exactly constitutes commercial and non-commercial activity and that obviously sharing your assets on an occasional basis as people do should not constitute uh, commercial activity. That much is clear. Um, there was also a recommendation that we made which was to extend the £4,750 allowance for lodgers to include all sharing activity. That's most definitely something that should be extended. And we actually recommended they increase that allowance to 10,000, but then we would, wouldn't we? we just not normally we get a chance to speak directly to government. Um, we also heard um, uh, from most of the tables that, you know, we really do struggle in order to educate people about how, what the sharing economy is about and how they can get involved. Now, there might be an opportunity here, especially in the UK, because the Conservative government came in off the back of something called the Big Society. That was basically telling people that they should rely on each other and help each other out. It kind of was a bit of a damp squib because at the time there was austerity measures as well. So, you know, money was being cut from the public purse. And then when the government tells you you really should be doing more, you kind of think, well, yeah, that's, that's a little bit cheeky. Um, where we go from here is that they take the recommendations, they put it to, again, high level ministers within the Department of Business. Uh, within the Treasury, um, they obviously liaise with the Department for Tax, uh, HMRC, and they looked to put together a framework that we can apply moving forwards. Um, we've asked them to invite us back so we can continuously advise them on how they're doing um, and perhaps shape that discussion and those conclusions. But thus far, it's been a very interesting uh, development, uh, a very welcome development, and let's hope it translates into some clear. Um, some clear progress and that the UK does uh, fly the flag for the sharing economy. All right, thanks for listening. It's been Imran Azam for Sharing Economy TV in association with the people who share.com.